Good morning team, it is Monday morning. I'm just feeding the horses on my way to work. I lay in bed this morning for about two hours from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. just thinking I've got to go ride or lunge or do something but it's six degrees it was raining heavily and even with an amazing indoor my motivation just wasn't there though so. I'll do them later today I am teaching art at my old school I have no idea which grades I have so that's just the fun part about doing relief teaching so let's crack on with the day there's no actual lesson plan left but um, I'm a pretty creative person so I've got an idea in mind I've got grade one so hard work but fun <laughs> Oh wow, look at this, this is cool. So yeah, I've been having a great day so far. <laughs> Just two more classes and then I'm done. I'm tired. I forgot my lunch. Alright, so it's 4.30 now. I just got home. I'm going to have dinner and then go feed the horses and then go for a walk. Trees are on fire nice big bonfire for the night. Soggy wet ponies. Ready for dinner! That mud is disgusting. Alright, I'm going to go for a walk. It's all about me trying to be fit enough to ride that one. This is hard work <laughs> and to have a strong enough core to ride that one yeah, this is literally a noodle this guy waving me down from the road so we actually had somebody break in to the house before um yeah so that was a scary thing so that set my anxiety <laughs> Off really badly. So now I'm a bit paranoid. Good times. Anyway, so let's go for a walk, shall we? Alright, so I'm gonna leave Monday here while you can still kind of see me. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good morning team, it is Tuesday morning and I am not teaching today so I'm going to be writing today and also doing some things for the developer so yeah so that includes writing articles, delivering settlement gift boxes, things like that so a very mellow day. I have woken up and it was pouring with rain, I fed all the cats, I've had my coffee and it cleared up but now it's starting to rain again. Got a journal. Got a coffee, got my computer, and I'm good to go. So that's all done. Some lunch. Uh, keep working on the Enviro something article that I'm writing. I don't know, I'm just not feeling that article for some reason. Um, and then I'll try and get hay. This is the problem though, look at the weather. Yeah, so, and then I will try to ride. Hopefully my energy doesn't die before then. I'll try to do some yoga today because I've noticed lately that my hip flexors are really, really tight. Really tight. I'd feel it when I was riding the other day and then even just walking yesterday. It was like I couldn't move my legs forward. I was like... <laughs>
It's actually hailing now, so I'm glad I got those boxes inside. Okay, so I just got hay and also went into the saddlery part of the shop and bought a lunge whip because every time I've had one, the horses have wrecked it because it's been out in the paddock. But now that I have more than a paddock, uh, I've got them their toxin binder. I've got a long rope for the groundwork sessions with Holly. So I'll put that. Maybe I'll hang that. Can I hang that up here? Let's see. I can probably clip it on. <laughs> so hard to do one handed. Hold on. Ugh. All right. Done. Okay. And then I've got myself a pair of gloves, which I'm going to put in a box because we do have the occasional rattle mouse. I don't want them eating them because they probably would. These creatures ate a plastic box. Didn't even have food in it, but they ate the plastic lid off the box. And then I've got a magic brush because it's winter and they're muddy. So I just thought that would be an easy way to get the mud off. Little tackle. Um, just going to unload the hay from the ute before it rains and then yeah, get back to work writing this article that I don't really want to write but have to for money and also the deadline is in three days and I'm teaching the other day so that's that. <laughs> You're so cute Holly. I just took out all the disgusting, gross, rotting hay from the back. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, oh, look how wet it is in here, darling. Oh, dear. Look at that all over my back. Thank you, Holly. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Come here. I don't want to step in the puddle. I'm a dresser as well, so I can't possibly. He's gonna crack it. He's like, wait, wait, my food! Don't leave with my food! I'm just gonna check out this tire feeder because I reckon I can put his bucket in there because he won't knock it out. <sighs> Love getting free stuff when you move to a nice place like this. It's a bit gross. I reckon if I put his bucket in there, it shouldn't blow out. We'll see, hey? Oh, Jesus, my. Ooh. I don't want to get zapped by the fence. Ooh. Is that alright, Papa? At least then you're out of the mud. And hopefully that bucket doesn't blow away. But he's pretty good with his buckets. Thank you, Papa. Yeah, so his water tub troughs a bit swollen with water, but what can you do? It gets so wet. Look at it, it gets so wet, Papa. Pretty rainbow. Ah. Of course I parked in a puddle. Good morning team, it's Wednesday morning, I'm off to teach grade 4 today. Um, running late, and I'll park in the puddle. Right, school day is done, didn't check in at all. Wet day timetables be like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, grade 4 today, went well. And then now I'm just going to fight traffic and get home and do the horses. I have got to the point where I am doing stuff on the ground with my horses 
in an Udi. It is nine degrees, raining, and I'm over it. I really am. Winter is not usually this cold so soon. I'm really unhappy with this weather. Not happy. Anyway, I'll do some ground work with Holly and lunge moon. Nice, quick, easy day. And then tomorrow we have our lessons. I'm super excited about that because Holly's is going to be under lights, actually in the dark. And she loses it. She just loses it. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to getting some help with that. Anyway, let's do this. Let's do this, babies. They're like, yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> Good girl. It feels like I'm doing it wrong. But I think she's getting it. Good job, Holly. She's like, yeah, alright, I'll have a scratch. <sighs> so I don't know, I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> Thank God we've got a lesson tomorrow though, because she she was like throwing the leg and everything. Oh I get so scared, I hate it. I like the cuddles. This is what I like about horses. We can have cuddles. I don't like it when they sort of challenge you. <laughs> Not fun. Getting ringed on with Moo. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it, Moo? He's like, yes. Thank God. Can I please roll? Because I'm soaked in the breeze. Good boy. Trip, trip. Look at that coat, Shambaba. Such a handsome boy. Right, the horses are done. I'm gonna go in and have some dinner and have a shower and get warm with the cat. So that's Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning team. I seem to have no voice today, so that's fun. <laughs> um, teaching prep today, so that'll be good. It's a different prep class to what I had last week, but I do know a couple of them from taking them for reading assessments and things. So mm, that's going to be fun. Hopefully I get my voice back, but I think the less a teacher talks, the better the children behave. So. Yeah, anyway, just heading off to work now, just for the horses. And today is the first morning that it is not under 10 degrees, but it is 10 degrees, so it's still cold. Anyway, off I go to work. You will get very wet feet if you walk in puddles. I know, I would this week. It's a good size. Yep. And then here you can do a little leg yield in if he's led. And if he sucks back like that, you forget the next circle and you prioritise the go, okay? Yep. Good. And then turn in. Lower leg forward, upper body back. And leg yield in a few steps. Good. Soft and nice. And then now circle again. That's better. Good. Super. Well done. Good, Amy. Yeah, okay. Really good lessons. Um, yeah, I'm really cold now because I've I watched my coach work with Holly. And I said, when do you think I can start riding her again? And she said, not until she can trot on a lunge line without being a twat basically so i've got to just keep doing what i'm doing um so i'm just packing everything up and i'll give them their dinner and then i'll go and get dinner myself uh, i have not drank enough water today i've only had one glass like a mason jar really let's say like 400 mil 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 millimeter milliliters Brain's not working clearly. Um, 
so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I've got a day off tomorrow for Friday because uh, it's a student free day which means that the teachers will all be there writing reports but because I'm a relief teacher I don't have to write reports that just means I get a, a day off but obviously I don't get paid but I'm still happy about it <laughs> um, I can work for the developer if I feel like I want to do some extra work but as far as I'm concerned I'm just going to take it easy play ponies Jurassic Park comes out today, like the fifth or sixth one, I don't know, the latest one anyway, 2022, so I want to go see that, and I never go to the movies, ever, so I might go do that, my partner probably won't want to come see it with me, so I'll probably just be going by myself, that's okay, I like being by myself. Good morning everybody. just wanted to show you my hair because I tracked it. Fed the kittens. Now I'm just having some toast. Mm. Nice view in the morning. And tickets are booked to see the movie. It's gonna be fun. This is how one of my cats, Classy, likes to sit and wait for a bit of Nuttalex or a bit of cheese in the morning. <laughs> Don't you fussy? You sit up there and wait. <laughs> I hate, I hate being out at night, but I've got my osseo, so that's good because I woke up with a headache. Felt awful all day, but so, so glad I'm going to the osseo. Also going to get her to check my and work on my hip flexors because they've been killing me while, I was while I'm riding. So I'm gonna leave Friday there. No riding today. Haven't even fed the horses yet, except for breakfast. Um, yeah, so got up, fed the horses, had a shower. Did nothing, went to the movies and then raced her to the Oscar. So that's my day. Right, so I'll see you tomorrow for Saturday. Yay! Good morning, team. It is Saturday morning and it is not raining, but it is freezing that wind is coming straight off antarctica i swear so i'm just going to give the horses their breakfast and then go do the shopping do the cleaning do the housework run errands all that kind of stuff and then we also have to go out for lunch for my partner's birthday which is tomorrow but we're doing like a family lunch tomorrow so we are going to go out for lunch today and then after I go out for lunch, I'm going to hopefully ride Moo and exercise Holly if, if I have time. Obviously, I do have time because I have lights. It's more if I have the energy to come back out into the cold and to bear it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a Saturday morning. Just feeding her sort of this side of her shed because it's starting to sleet. There's like little, I don't know if you could, it's getting picked up on camera, but there's like little bits of ice being blown around. So I thought she'd like to eat her breakfast out of the wind. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go give Moo his and I'll probably give him his over there. Rubbish is blown in. Ugh. Honey's over there. I don't know if you can see the sleet. It's not nice, is it, Baba? 
Oh. Ooh, these jackets are very thin. It's too cold. I'm done with winter. It's been 11 days of winter. Mm -mm, not a fan. Yuck. <sighs> I thought I'd better explain what our winters are usually like. Uh, obviously not at this property because we ever just moved here in February, but our winters are usually very cold with the wind, like we do get those Antarctic winds, um, but it's not relentless like this. Our low is usually like six or seven degrees Celsius, and then our maximums usually hover between 11 and 14. And obviously, with a lot of rain and hail and wind, not snow and sleet and all that kind of stuff, but we have had 11 days in a row where it hasn't really got over 10 degrees. So, this is why we're all dying, basically. But because we've got that icy wind, it's freezing. And I have had Canadian friends and Swedish friends complain about our winters, how they usually are, because that wind just goes straight through you. And because we're not really set up for cold in this country, it's sort of like how England is set up for the heat, so they really struggle with the heat. We don't have that level of insulation that we need on our windows. Everything's drafty, everything's wet and stays wet because we're usually very dry. So that's what winter is usually like in Melbourne. Oh look, yeah, there's a nice rainbow over there. Um, excuse the mess at the barn that's being renovated and that is where we will be actually living. So that's exciting. It's getting bigger. Ready. Okay. Back inside out of this hideous, hideous wind. Look. <laughs> I sat down to get warm. Sunday, happy birthday to my partner. He's just unlocking the gate so we can leave. Um, yeah, just fed the horses, going to go have a family lunch and hopefully I can ride or do something with the horses this afternoon, so that'll be fun. Hello. Hello.